Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and today we're playing Little Hope. Or I should be saying we are finishing Little Hope because I believe we're close to the end. I think this game is around five hours, so this episode might be kind of long. But either way, I am very excited to continue. I just want to say this has been a great start to October for me. I'm really enjoying this game. And also, I also want to say, look at my shirt. This is my Pandas Playing Cards shirt or poker shirt or whatever it was called. This is um, a sweater um, by Kina and Tam. It's a website and they make really, really high quality stuff. Not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> I just wanted to like drop their name because they're awesome. I love their stuff so much. I really want more shirts from the website, but they are a little expensive. So I got to use my money sparingly on there. But I was really waiting to wear this sweater because um, a subscriber of mine actually sent me the money to purchase it. So thank you so much. I know it's been a while since I bought it, so they might have forgotten, but I did not, trust me. It's just been way too hot to wear this thing. Either way, let's talk about what happened in the last episode. So last episode, we crossed this bridge that was over this rushing river. We were playing as John and we helped Andrew and Angela across the bridge. But before we made it across, we saw another flashback where we saw Amy who was being sentenced to death for her witch associations. And the priest was drowning her in the river and she had been tied up with all these chains, which then occurred to me, hey, that's the chained swamp creature that we've been seeing. So that thing is after us. And we had the choice whether to save John or Angela. And I went with Angela because I knew that this thing was after Angela, it seemed like. We saw those visions. And so I was really hoping that John would be okay and he was, thankfully, and so was Angela, and we managed to save her. But unfortunately, we got split up from Daniel and Taylor. That whole scene was so intense. I really waited there for so long. I did not want to lose anyone, and I was really happy I didn't. We went to a graveyard where we saw the graveyard of the Clark family, who we saw in the very beginning during the house fire. We saw all those graves except Anthony, who was the only one that survived the house fire. We also saw that there were flowers on Tanya's grave. And that made me realize something. In the intro, we saw a young man who had dropped off Tanya at the home. And we didn't know anything about him, but I believe it's Tanya's boyfriend. And we also saw him at her funeral and he was holding a sun chain, which apparently in the books represents masculine energy and the moon represents feminine energy from what I've been seeing. And so I'm thinking who else would be leaving flowers at Tanya's grave besides that guy? Which also led me to believe I think Vince is the guy we saw in the intro. He's the only other person we've seen in this town besides the swamp creature and the bus driver who we don't even know where he is at this point. And so that's my theory. And I also throw out a crazy theory that maybe Anthony is the bus driver possibly. I feel like that's not right at all. But I just figured I'd throw that out there as well because Anthony was the only one to survive. And also in the intro we saw when he got onto the bus, the bus driver, he was reading a book on the witch trial. And so he was already like kind of privy to what was going on in Little Hope and he seemed really freaked out that he had to go there. So I don't know. This is all speculation at this point. Unfortunately though, Angela was attacked again by the swamp creature who dragged her into the sewers and we don't know what's happened to her at this point. If she's alive, I don't know. I really don't know. I hope she is. I hope I didn't get her killed. I was really really upset because I think I failed a QTE and that might be why she was dragged down there. I really hope she's not dead. And now we're back to playing as Daniel and Taylor, who again saw another flashback. I don't think we got to see it, but Mary has been leading us around this whole place. She stole her poppet back. I don't know why. So I don't know whether she's malicious or not. I'm leaning towards giving her the benefit of the doubt because the curator has been kind of pushing us in the direction of don't judge people too quickly. She's just a child. So I'm, you know, put my faith on the curator here. Who knows if he's leading me astray or not? I don't know. But I think there's more to this than meets the eye. And I think the priest is kind of to blame for a lot of this. Maybe he's pitting them against each other. I don't know. Either way, I'm really, really curious to see how this all wraps up. I think I'm going to play until the end today. So this might be a long episode, like I said, but I'm in it for the long haul. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this series as much as I have because I've had such a good time. Anyways, let's get into it, guys. So we're back and I'm really, really nervous because I don't want anyone to die and maybe I already got Angela killed, I don't know. But like... The woman who looks like me, 
What did she do to be taken like that? Not a great omen for sure. But nothing's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. Aww. Oh god. <laughs> what? What is this? Oh no! Oh no! Poodoo doll. Ah! Uh. Daniel! Oh, I don't want him to die. I'm so scared. Okay. King William's War. Commencement Day Massacre. 1690. On Commencement Day 1690, while the Puritans celebrated the graduation of the town's young men, an army of French and Indians attacked, burning a number of homesteads. Eight men were killed and a number of women and children taken into slavery in Acadia. The fate of the slaves is unknown. Those taken into slavery. Mary Dent. Martha Milton. Was it Mary Dent or Mary Milton? That was killed. Madeline Carver. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Let's just go this way. Okay. Nope. We're just gonna keep going then. <laughs> okay. Daniel, where are you? Okay. You better hurry up. Pick it up. Also, how do those streetlights work? I hope I get to make things right with Angela. Aw. A lot of bad, weird shit gone down tonight. Yeah. I hope so, but I don't have high hopes. Hope tourist office. Little hope tourist office. Uh foreclosure. Bank owned. Keep out. We're the first tourist this place is Oh. Has seen in a long time. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Can you give me a hug? <laughs> I'm scared. I don't wanna get anyone killed. I'm trying my best. You point ahead. Is there anything in here? Where the hell is that coming from? Wait, what? I don't know. I don't know either. What is this? Where am I going? It was Carver. Execution site. Archaeological dig here in 1955 identified a layer of ash and bone fragments. This site is thus believed to be the location where people were hanged and burned at the stake during the witchcraft panic of 1692. It's unclear which of the accused was executed here. Well, we know Mary was drowned, so who else would it be? Was it, was it Taylor's double? I forget what her name was because they said Tabitha and then there was Tilly. I'm just confused. <laughs> I'm really confused. But. But okay. I think shit's about to go down here. You know, so nervous. What? I can't see anything with this camera angle. Oh, that stupid crow. Get out of here. Daniel, quit standing there like a creep. Why is this camera angle like that? I can't see a damn thing. Go away. Oh god. Is this a thing? No way. Get over here! Why is he standing there like that? Was that him? This is impossible. I know those markings. Wait, this what? is my old tire swing. Look, here, see? Hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay. It's not okay, you don't get it. See these stars? I painted them onto this tire with my dad when I was 10 years old. You sure? Hell yes, I'm sure this is my tire swing. How come it's out here? <sighs> Your guess is as good I as mine. You, okay? So what does it mean? Fuck this place. I think it's a message. It's gotta be some weird head trip message for me. Hey, hey, look at me, look at me. We're getting through this. 
Okay? Together. Oh, God. Run. Ah! Fuck, stop! This is not my doing. You must help me. I beg you. It's not your Please doing? Please help me before it is too late. Hush now, woman. Only the Almighty can forgive your sin. That is your only hope of salvation. Listen to me. I have committed no sin. The puppet I am condemned for is a child's plaything. Nothing more. I swear it. I will not it. be deceived. I see the evil in you. My duty is to cleanse our town of your sickness. I think you're... There is no other way. You must hang. Dude. I pray, Lord, for you to take the soul of this, our sister Tabitha, who has been led astray by the devil, and do with it as you will. Danger. Dang. Oh, God. And that thing, I think, is right there. Right? Oh, the woman we just saw. It was me. That, that means I'm next. No. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Can we hurry up and get out of here? Let's keep on Aww. going to the church. That's likely where the rest are. Yeah, sure, I guess. Okay. Okay, great. Did Mary say that's not my doing? Did she say that? Or did Tabitha say that? I can't remember. I don't know. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna look around for secrets. There's a bus. Whoa, <laughs> what are you doing, Daniel? I don't know. Oh. Feels like we're being followed. We are being followed. Hey! Oh! Get the fuck out of here! Back the fuck That's off, her! You? <gasps> oh crap, what the fuck is that? It's her. Her ghost. Hide. Come on. Hide. Oh god. Are we running? Move! Run! What? Was there no point in that? What is going on? Oh, Taylor, hurry up. Why are we just leaving her? Why are we leaving her? Oh my god. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, now we're him, okay. Oh my god. These are really fast. Holy shit. Come on. Come on. Oh. Stay calm, Aaron. Stay calm. It's just buttons. We've done this a million times. 
Come on. Oh my god. My heart rate is off the charts. Taylor, is that you back there? Yes. Oh Get my god. Church, run. Oh my god. Oh. Hey. It's him. Help us. <laughs> Get inside. Go. Help us, dude. Come please. On, hey. Run. Get inside. Dude, why are you just standing there? Come on. I wonder if he recognizes. It. Hey! Are you crazy? Wait, what? You're trying to get yourself killed? Get in here. Oh, hey! did I do something bad? Oh, I did something bad, didn't I? Where's Angela? She didn't make it. Nothing we could do. Did it, should, should I have shot it? Oh, me. no. No, and we have to keep that thing outside, or we'll be joining her. Fuck. Look for ways in and out of here. Close them all off. Where's Vince? Oh, shit! Come on, we need a barricade here. God, what did I just do? Oh no. Did we lock him out? What? Hey! No, let him in! Hey! Let him in. Hurry up. Why the hell is that old fool still out there? I don't know. Looks like he's following us. Whatever he's up to, we can't trust no. him. I know you're inside. What in God's name is he up to? No. He's gonna lead that thing straight to us. Let him in. He doesn't get how much trouble we're in here. Get out here and look me in the eye. Don't even think about going outside. You motherfucker, you. You take a goddamn shot at me. Quit hiding in there. We have to get rid of him. We're in deep shit if that thing hears us. What? I was trying to help. Hey, cool it. I was I was trying to help. Didn't you see that thing? What are you talking about? Ain't nothing out here. That thing out there killed my friend. What? Okay. So tell me what happened. Everything happened so fast. One minute my friend was right with us, then like that, she was gone. Taken. Gone forever. I sure as hell get that. Stay here. Don't move. What are you gonna go and do? Go get help. What? What? Should I have shot it? I don't know. I was trying to protect him. Oh, God. That thing's out there. It's toying with us. Doesn't feel right. Shutting that old guy out there. It was that or risk all of us getting killed. I made the right call. David. Professor? Andrew! It's me. I'm next. Oh. Oh no. The priest, reverend, whatever, made accusations against my double. It sounded serious. Another trial? Not this time. It sure looked like it was heading that way. And the girl? Mary? Yeah. She was there, all right. We secure in here? You find any other ways in? <sighs> Sorry, Professor, I didn't check. That oh, thing God. is still out there. Look over there. Oh. Well, you need to tell we us what's going on, her. girl. Whoever she is, she's tied up in everything that's happened. Yes. What if you're right? What then? If we can stop her, it could prevent any more harm happening to our doubles. Okay. Guard the door in case that thing comes back. Oh. <laughs> Great. Creepy stairway. My favorite. Oh, wait. Daniel died in that... when he went up to the attic. Remember? Oh, no. This is like the beginning. Girl, tell me what you want. You want from me? 
Nice loafers, dude. Oh, God. Don't want him to die. Hey, kid. You out here? Sorry, I had to switch my camera battery. Oh, Jesus. Really? I just got back. Oh, Lord. Oh. It pains me to say these words, but your punishment today will protect us all. Keep our town safe. Can you spare him? I beg you. This is hard for you, child. But one day you will understand and you will thank me. Go from this place, Mary. Your pleas cannot reach him. My fate is not a memory you should carry. Who will be my keeper if you are gone? Judge Wyman has instructed Abraham. He will be your keeper. Abraham. A decision not all are in agreement with. Every man will face his day of judgment. Oh. Yours is today. No! No! <sighs> Look, child. See who you would have me spare. See, he is no longer of this earth. Only the damned and the devil can resist in this way. Oh! Because I'm grabbing him. Oh my god. Just like his. Yup. Oh my god, I'm just realizing. Tanya was hanging by her scarf. Oh god, this game is so good, dude. So does that mean John is gonna be crushed? Or Joseph, or whatever his name was? Oh my god. He was right here. I was holding him. <sighs> okay, so she wanted to spare him, though, so... It was right there. Nothing I could do. Welcome to the club. Hey. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. I, I know how much it messed me up. Fucking witch trials! What's wrong with these people? They killed that guy for no reason. I'm sorry, this is fucked up. Now we know the pattern. Angela was killed after seeing her double executed. Taylor had a narrow escape from that thing. You see your double get it? And you're next. That's real reassuring. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Isn't it better to know what's gonna happen to you? <gasps> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's what's been after us. Come on. But that's Taylor's vision. Oh, God. I don't know if I should have shot it. That was probably a bad idea. Why is the door wide open? What do we do now with that thing outside? Quiet. It's out there. Listen. It's out there for now. What if it decides to come in after us? Maybe we're okay if we stay inside the church. Because? Because it's holy ground. A church? Maybe it can't come in. Really? It's a fucking vampire now? I'm just saying, this is a solid building. He's right. We're safer in here. We're staying put. It's haunting me. Come on, let's stay calm. I guess staying makes some kind of sense, right? Y you think that's our best move? We are staying in here. No choice. Last time we split up okay. was bad, so... Maybe you got a point. Perhaps the thing will get bored and take off. We have nowhere else to go. What about Vince? He said he's gonna go get help. What does that mean? I still want to know where the bus driver is. Okay. Mary needs to come out and stop playing with us. Tell us what's going on, girl. Oh. 
a soul divided. In Hebrews 4.12, we read, For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit. Commonly, we use the words soul and spirit interchangeably. They are those parts of our being that make us up but cannot be seen. Biblically, they are different. The spirit is our life force. It is this part of us made by pure made pure by Christ's sacrifice. The soul is those things that make you unique, such as your personality, your thoughts, and attitude. Okay. Oh, wait. I didn't look at the back. Hold on. Okay. I didn't even read this part. Okay. Spirit and soul may seem the same, but God and Satan can divide the pure spirit from the often imperfect soul self. That duality is key to understanding scripture. There is a disconnect between the spirit and the soul. We are divided against ourselves. Our spirit is pure. When God looks at us, he sees us blameless. But our soul, those things we struggle with in our heart, needs reminding of who we are in the spirit. It needs purification. Only isolation and sacrifice can bring us purity. So is it something where their souls are, are still trapped since they were killed in such a horrible way? They're looking for purity? So they need sacrifice to make themselves pure again? Is that what that means? Oh, whoa. God has forsaken us. Okay, thanks for that. I wish I could look inside that chest. Seems pretty important. I really, really hope I don't get Daniel killed. Sounds like more than one. Oh, Fucking God. great. It's okay. <laughs> Calm down. Is that Mary? This place is double central. The priest is the spitting image of that creepy preacher. You're right. Yeah. They could be the same guy. Okay. This whole thing has something to do with him. Okay. What's this? Simon Carver. Is that what it says? Little Hope Pastors. Okay. Oh, here we go. What's this? Is that another postcard? No. Oh. No way. This has got to be the preacher who's been popping up all over. Hold on. I don't know what that word is. A pleasant river. <laughs> Recently, parents have expressed concern that their teenage children are being tempted by the occult in musical lyrics by innocent seeming spirit boards or movies that glorify Satanism. This is not the first time Little Hope has been scourged by occultism. Manuscripts from the 1600s, carefully hidden beneath flagstones in the church rectory, were recently discovered. They were covered with disturbing scrawls in a cipher that revealed magic words and spells. It is believed the town's preacher of the time dabbled with magic and demonology. That was a dark time for the settlers. Times have changed, but Satan's work never ceases. The clergy today stand vigilant against occultism and are unlikely to fall into ignorance and error. But parents should be mindful of the fascination these things hold for the young, particularly rebellious youths. The danger is they fall into bad habits such as smoking marijuana, and from there into the occult and disobedience to God. Parents should be watched, and where they see the signs, look to the church and to God. Told y'all it was that creepy preacher. Oh god, be careful! Daniel! Oh! oh my god! Let's go! No, no, no! Stay inside! What are we doing? Oh god. Oh! Daniel, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm! I don't have the knife! No, he's gonna get John if I don't. This is a horrible idea! Come on! 
Oh. Oh. Come on. I don't think that did anything. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. I don't think it's done. It's not done. Where are you, Taylor? Come oh, they're on. they're gonna jump scare Talk me again. Us. Come on. We gotta do something now. Hold on. We need to be calm. Fuck calm. Taylor's in trouble. Oh God. Huh. Oh no. Oh, I don't like the silence. Stop. It's gonna jump scare me again. What? 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 Is that you? I can't be here. What? I don't know. Is that you? I'm over here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh, because I have the knife! Yes! Yes! Come on, come on! Come on! Come on! God, please tell me I saved them. Oh my God, bonus feature unlocked. What does that mean? Am I happy to see you guys? Oh my God. I lost you. <gasps> We're still in big trouble here. Yes. I don't know. I'm so mad that Angela's not here. I feel like I could have saved all break. of them. Man. We gotta keep moving. Can't stop. No wait. He needs a break. Forget it. Those things are coming after us, not you. We can't hang around. Um. I keep telling you, stick together and we'll be fine. Fine like Angela, right? Dude. Uh... All right. What's our next move? I'm not sure. Oh, I'm so happy I gave her that knife. Yes! We should rest here for a while. Okay, I guess. <sighs> Wait, what? Not for too long. You sleep? That's impressive. I wish. <laughs> no way I could get any shut eye after what went down tonight. Would love to, though. I'm beat. <laughs> Any ideas how we're getting out of here? The fog has us surrounded. There's no way through. We can't just do nothing. We need to figure out where the fog is coming from. I think the kid, Mary, is the key to finding a way through it. Getting to Mary, stopping her might help. Sure, okay, but what about the other kid? The one that keeps running from us? It's the same Mary thing. Mary and her are connected somehow, I'm sure of it. Maybe the other girl is trying to lead us somewhere. Where? I don't know. Maybe to a place we can stop all this. Everything feels out of control. I don't think there's anything we can do at this point. Mary's the key to everything that's happened. The trials, the executions. Sure, but how are we supposed to stop her? Not even sure she's real. <laughs> Too late for us to do anything now. We've had it. This is over. We have to try. We owe it to the others. And ourselves. Mary's the key to this. I'm certain of it. It's not that simple. And like you said, she's just a kid. We can't... Listen to me. We see her again. We do whatever is necessary. Oh, God. 
What's that? Shh, shh. Hell no, that thing is back to finish me off. Oh no. No. Didn't you learn anything from almost killing that old man? Put it away. That old bastard isn't out here. This is something else. Wait. I forgot I wasn't playing as Andrew. <laughs> Crap. Oh no. Oh. Don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. I don't know what it is. Damn thing at someone else, will you? Oh. Angela! <laughs> She's alive! Oh yes! Never thought I'd see you again. I, I was sure you. Yes! You we're gone. We thought. You know, we're all glad you made it. Stop it. Huh. You're gonna make me blush. But thank you. No one messes with you. Oh. For sure. You are one tough lady. So the whole crew is back together. I'm so happy! You rounded everyone up. Good job. Mm, not quite. They found us. Right now, our priority is getting you safe. Let's go. Oh! We've come across yes. things since you left us. <laughs> the thing that chased after me was horrendous. How did she survive? Now you're telling me there's more of them? What in God's name are they? You okay without your glasses? I most certainly am. There is plenty here I don't want to see. Hmm. You lost your glasses, but not your sense of humor. Good. <laughs> oh you shit. Hear that? I heard it. Sounded close too. Just gotta keep moving. I heard chains, I think. Oh man. I'm so happy she's back. Oh my god. I never thought I'd be so happy to see Angela again. Let me help you down. Aww. Oh god, hurry up. Hurry up. Ah! Shit. Ah. Oh no. What? What is going on? Stop splitting up, everyone. Oh my god. Great. Professor? There's Angel, fog. Are you there? Oh no. Dirt trip. Oh, come on. Daniel? Taylor? Oh. Whoa. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, Mary. Where is she? Whoa. Guys. That was fast. Uh, Mary's gonna jump out. I know it. Where the hell are you? Maybe if you didn't run out by yourself. Oh. 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 <gasps> no, don't make me choose. Don't make me choose. Stop. <laughs> Oh god, I'm sorry. Hold on, Taylor. I gotta help. You. Come on. I don't know. Oh god. What about Taylor though? Hopefully she's doing okay. What? Oh shit, what just happened? Oh no. Oh! Okay, come on! No! Oh! Taylor! Taylor! Oh my god! Come on, come on! Oh. 
Okay. How we got out of there in one piece, I'll never know. Oh my god. Not the celebrations. We're still cornered in shithole central. Oh and my the god. The mutants are still out there. We gotta keep moving. We have to go right now. Well, let's hurry up. So the reason I picked Daniel, I know it's gonna sound weird. It is better to conquer yourself. Okay, I'll, I'll say it after. Thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. Not by angels or by demons. Heaven or hell. Perhaps you've started to realize something. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? But everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Three executions, <laughs> three tormented beings, and so far your students have all avoided damnation, eternal suffering. Any thoughts on what might be around the corner, hidden by the fog? Something wicked this way comes. God. Okay. Okay. We're all still here, that's what matters. Okay, let me explain myself. So the reason I picked Daniel, I had I had the game pause to think about it. Because I was like, oh god, okay, here we go again. And I remembered the secrets here, uh, the pictures. And I, I, I remembered this one? Is it this one? Yeah. So, the same thing with Angela, where we saw her um, in the vision getting like pulled down. So I figured, do the thing that would prevent that thing from happening. You know what I mean? So, that seems to be what's been working out good for me so far. This whole game is stressing me out. Uh, my relationships- my relationship with John is not good. I'm upset by that, but I'm really trying my best. But so far, everyone's still alive. It's all that matters to me. I feel like I'm doing pretty good and I'm I'm scared that things are gonna go downhill, but I'm really trying, so you know, we're just gonna keep going. How did Angela get out of there is my question. Please stay on the trail. Looks kinda steep. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to back out of what he said. I don't like that sound that's going on. And I also don't like that everyone seems to have left me. Where the frick did everyone go? Hello? Okay, they're up there. Jeez. Like, this may sound frick? crazy, but... What if... Saving our doubles from execution is... How we save ourselves? He's got a point. Those... Things we've seen are linked to the executions. Stark restoration. Dangerous, unstable structures. Anything here not falling apart? Those fireflies? We have to find that bus driver. Fireflies. I feel like he's the key. That's what's causing the glow. Look for the light. <laughs> Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. Okay. Oh, it's a priest. Huh. Oh. No, this cannot be. My own eyes deceive me. That's so weird. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. 
that you saw a delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Keep suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I don't know how to feel right now. Especially Joseph, he kind of... I am bewitched. Gives me you're not feelings. bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. <laughs> what do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I am not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did, like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Nah, man. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. I don't think so, dude. Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably gonna do us all in. I hope you're wrong. For all our sakes. I don't know. What happened? I don't know. You get a chance to confront Mary? I don't no. know. We never even saw her. Fuck. I don't know. Maybe I just screwed everyone over. Don't know. Really don't know. You met up with Andrew's double, Abraham. He was thinking about testifying against Mary, but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. That was a smart move. Are you fucking kidding me? We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds of years ago. How you doing? Ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing That's I didn't crazy. see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. Makes no sense. I'm good with that. At all. Never happens to me. Yeah, I hear that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and ghosts. <laughs> we could have used one of those, uh, what do you call it? A paladin, a holy warrior. <laughs> Holy shit. I never had you down as a game geek. There's a lot more about me you don't know. I'm full of surprises. You'll see. We need to get moving. Oh, Jesus. Why? Again? We need to... We, this needs to stop. This needs to stop. No more, please. Daniel! Oh, God. <laughs> what if I tripped over that? Oh, my God. Taylor? Where are what? You? She was like Taylor. right there. That you? I don't know. Oh, okay. Hold on to me. Whatever happens, do oh, not God. let go. Leave me. Get out of here with the others. Forgot I was playing as her. Oh God. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh shit! Stop. Crap. I hit that by accident. 
Ugh. Come on, come on. What the fuck was that? What do you mean, what was that? We've seen it the whole time. God. This needs to stop. No more. Free spirit. <sighs> Let's check that out. Our own demons. We'll get us out of these damn woods and we can talk on the way. Is no one gonna just... Okay, we're just gonna forget that even happened. Okay, cool. I don't know if I screwed things over by saying not to do anything, but like... Uh, uh, the priest is totally evil, dude. I don't like this camera angle. Hurry up. Keep walking. Keep walking, guys. Oh. Oh, it's a thing. It's a thingy. I forgot what this means. Okay, I tried to figure out what that means, but I forgot. I forgot, so we're just gonna keep going. Whoa. What is this? Is this a factory? What happened back there with that thing? Whatever it was, it's gone, and it ain't coming back. I really hope you're right. Probably not. a matter of time before they come after us. <laughs> Probably again. not right. That's a pretty negative outlook you got there. <laughs> There's got to be a way of stopping the girl. We might have already missed a chance to change things. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a faker. <sighs> Put her in the know. dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? Because I'm not sure. I don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Let's take a look. I don't know. Maybe I ruined things. I don't, I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is this? Just show me. Oh, God. Okay. So we have to save John from something. Pressed into silence. Pressed into silence. Just like he was crushed by the by the house. Whew. So he, maybe he was trying to speak out himself. And he got killed. Since, uh... Abraham there wouldn't do it. We told him not to for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. Everyone's pissed at me, but at the same time, I'm like, has this game? I feel like it's been we gotta showing find me another route. that things are not what they seem, and that she's just a child. So I don't know. No way in, like the rest of this fucking town. Oh. Why does it look like something's flash sometimes? What's that say? Mayor hails a land deal. Fears protest will surely es escalate as closure looms. Is that the priest? Huh. Wow. Vote Carver for mayor. 666. For future prosperity. So obviously they think he's, he's in league with the devil. Whatever they said back then. My relationships with Andrew are all going down. I feel bad, but... Hey, Taylor. She's just posing. Oh god, okay, so let's try to help John, because he's in... He's in big trouble! Looks like he's the last one to be attacked. Check this out! Hey! Hey! <laughs> He's like... <laughs> that guy's a menace. He's fine. I don't think fine. he gets how bad a mess we're in. He's Come not on. any trouble. Inside. Just talk to the guy, for Christ's sake. We're just stuck. We're just ignoring him? Okay, cool. Great. We're not even gonna listen to what he has to well, say. No one's been here for a long time. <laughs> Oh. 
Hi. Now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real Don't and what is do. not. Don't ask me what Nothing to do. good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? Oh. I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. For you? Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? You. I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. This dude. The court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. God, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Abraham! This priest needs to be taken out. What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? <laughs> this is tough. I get that. Would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it. <laughs> Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her, stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. Damn it. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! So what happens now? I don't know. <laughs> You're asking sure the wrong the person. Right I guess at least we know we can influence the outcome. Great. That's gotta be good, right? Did what I just screw them over? Is I don't right know. I don't know. It went down just like he said. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. She could be evil. I really don't know at this point. I really, really don't know. What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. Why is that window open? Ew, I don't like that. <laughs> Look at those outfits. Whoa. This place shut down way, way back. Life as a kid in the 70s. Everything was ahead of me. That was the guy. I swear to God, that's Vince, dude. Isn't that John? You can tell which ones are photoshopped, that's for sure. <laughs> that's really weird.
There's got to be another exit. Maybe on the ground floor? James Clark, sadly missed by his many friends and colleagues. Oh, this must be the factory. Yeah, it's the factory that he worked at. So that's how you kiss my ass? <laughs> Wait. No, I wasn't done looking at it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Mr. Vincent Barnes, 15 Mayflower Avenue, Little Hope. Uh, Mr. Barnes, subject employment warning letter. Following our recent disciplinary meeting, I'm writing regarding your attendance and behavior. Management have made very every effort to accommodate your difficult circumstances and recent injury by accepting your reoccurring absences. However, continued warnings regarding attendance, lateness, and intoxication will have prompted us to issue a formal written warning. Further repetition of this behavior or other misconduct within 10 months will result in dismissal. Raven expects our employees to be enthusiastic, punctual, and sober. You must acknowledge the receipt of this letter. Please sign and return it to the foreman's office within seven days. Interesting. Well, we knew he was struggling with alcohol. I assume that's James. Oh, look at that. Get over here. You got to see this. <laughs> this is it too must, fucking weird. It must be so creepy. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now we got the creepy family of the year winners mm -hmm. who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. Why did you do that? You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. Probably a good idea. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? If it's my nightmare, why are you guys all in it? <laughs> Any of us could say the same thing. Yeah, true. Right? I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait. Who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, that really is us in that photo. Yeah. But they're around the same age as us, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Ha! Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's freaking. It's, the story here. it's Vince. She leaves him for some other guy. Yes, I do. I was freaking right. Tanya and Vince, the sun and the moon. Dude. Why? Oh, but he ripped her face off the page, dude. But how did he get stuck here, is my question. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. You hear that? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Right below us. Oh, no. We need to find a way out of here. Now. Yep, yep. That's a great idea. Maybe it's Vince, since you guys won't even freaking talk to him. Would love to know what he thinks of all this. I don't know what that noise is. Tragic fire caused by child's toy. Yep. <laughs> so maybe that poppet is representing the, the kid's toy that she had in the beginning that set the house on fire. The cause of a horrific fire at Little Hope family residence at the weekend may have been caused by a child's toy. Lieutenant David Farr of the Little Hope Volunteer Fire Department told the Herald that the guest range in the kitchen had been left on and a child's doll set down near it. He believes the doll caught fire and set off the range setting the kitchen ablaze. The fire resulted in five deaths amongst the Clark family. One survivor, Anthony Clark, 18, have, has been questioned by police after being arrested on suspicion of causing the fire. However, the fire investigation is now thought to exonerate the young man who will be released today. Family Minister Reverend 
Leonard Carson of St. David's. <laughs> okay, he just said the fire was a tragedy. It's terrible for him to be decimated. Family to be decimated, but they've gone through a difficult time recently, as many families do, but they were a good, hardworking family. Loving family, I was helpless. I was helping them through their troubles. It's a tragedy that it should end like this. No day for the funeral has been arranged. Both the fire department and the mayor's office practice praised the swift action of the police officers who arrived first on the scene and were able to prevent the blaze, claiming its sixth victim. Officers Reynolds and Hoffman's quick thinking prevented another death, said the mayor, who recommended the men for accommodation. Okay, great. I really hate how you have to hold the newspaper the whole time you're reading it. It's really frustrating. Cancelled order. That's heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. <laughs> you can't be nice about it? <laughs> What's up? You take that side, I'll take this side. We push together, right? Good. Now, push! Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh, shit. No. oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Daniel? You okay? No, I'm not. Help. Oh, God. Attack him! Daniel! Take cover! Shoot the fucker again! No way! Oh shit. shit! Ah! Help him up! Oh my god! Shit! Good idea. Come on. Come on. My hands are sweating so bad. My hands are sweating so bad. Come on. Go! Wait, what? What do you mean, go? No! What? My hands are sweating! Oh my god. Okay. Come on. Come on, bitch. Come on, self. Past self. Oh. Come on, come on. Come on. This thing is not good for my heart. Oh, Say something! God. Let us know you're okay! Maybe he's hiding. Let's go before anything else happens. Uh, <laughs> God. I'm so stressed. Where is Daniel? We're not just gonna leave him. What? Where did John go? He just fucked off in the background. What Daniel? was that? Where the fuck are you? Answer me! He's in the basement. What do you think? Or or we we were on the second floor, Daniel right? Here? I don't know. No. He's not here yet. Okay, let's keep going. Daniel will be okay. He'll catch us up. Are we not concerned? Okay, all right. I guess we're not concerned. If I was his girlfriend, I would be freaking out, dude. But okay, <laughs> haven't played as Angel in a you while. Okay, Daniel. Where the fuck has he got to? Daniel, please answer me. Stay cool. We'll get him back. Oh yeah, we'll get him back. He's totally fine. All right. I wonder how much longer. Really? Oh man. This whole game looks so cool, dude. 
Daniel? Oh, Where God. are you, buddy? Andrew! Oh. Hey! You guys! Okay. Where where are you? Up here. What do you mean up here? Boy. Oh. Am I happy to see you? At least I'm not the only one damp and disheveled. <laughs> oh, please hurry up and get up here, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Thought I'd lost you. Oh. Can't get rid of me that easy. I don't trust this. I hate when they're all smiling and standing. Oh, that's fucking creepy. Yes, sir. Uh, I think that's John. That kid, Mary? Not seen her. Nope, not seen her at all. What's that? Sun? Oh, car. An old car with a familiar looking sun symbol on its hood. The sun appears to be related to pagan magic. The sun charm found in the graveyard is the same symbol as the sun found on the hood of the car. So is this Vince's car? Is that a... Is that a weird thing to say? I don't know. What's in the, what's in the trunk there, Vince? What have you got there, buddy? Oh. Nice. Burn. Try to forget. I just saw this. Burn in hell. Mr. Clark leaving the Little Hope Police Department yesterday. The line has been drawn under the tragic case of the Clark House fire. Onlookers watched as Anthony Clark, the only survivor of the blaze, was released from the police. Thursday afternoon, one onlooker said that poor boy, he must be going through hell right now. The Herald approached Mr. Clark but for comment, but he is not. Blame Clark, who was found with a box of matches in his hands at the scene for causing the fire. When Clark left the Little Hope Police Department, passed by her. So Vince blames... Oh, he blames him for the fire. So is Vince after Andrew now? Oh, there she is. There she is. You see that? Hey, girl. Can you please tell us what- Ow. What is going on? Stop running away! <sighs> Stop. Stay on your toes. Huh. Anything could happen. Ugh. Why? Why? <laughs> Stop it with this. No one in Little Hope is safe while you still Ooh. draw breath, Georgie. You must die today. Jeez. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. This is a horrible way to die. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I got in no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I found his infection with madness. Roy, you but saints, servants. We have to stop this. Uh. Hold on. We have to think about this real quick. I'm gonna try to help Joseph. Maybe it'll... Maybe it'll break the curse? Come on! Help me! Look! There can be no oh. more doubting. This is witchcraft. Crap. More stones. That was a bad idea. Crushed from within him. Oh. That was a bad idea. Do not flinch. The fate of little orc rests in your hands. Sorry, dude. I didn't even think that through. I should have just... Crap. Jeez. 
John's next. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? <laughs> oh, ew! John! What are you doing? What do you think he's doing, girl? I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on. John, please hurry! Ugh. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Angela! Come on, Angela. You got you got some moves, girl. All right, come on. Oh my God. Die! Oh, jeez. <laughs> you okay? How's that feel, fucker? <laughs> God. Y'all are unhinged. Oh, no. Oh, no! Help! Help her! Oh, my God. Help her! Come on. Oh, ew. Ew. Oh, no. Oh. Get inside. Wait, did I just drop the, the hammer thing? Come on. Get in here. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh my god. We gotta go. Like now. I'm so stressed, I'm so stressed. You know what? I'm gonna be a hero. Oh no. Oh no. It's not dead. Is it gone? No, it's not. No. I don't see it anymore. No, no, no. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Stop. Back away. Back away. Back away. From the door, John. Where in God's name are we now? The place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. Something isn't right is this shitty town's model. <sighs> this game is taking years off my life, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we're Andrew again. Let's take a look. My relationships are, are pretty okay. Um, <sighs> okay, you know what? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. She's... Oh, God. Oh, this is the house. This is their house, isn't it? This is totally their house. It's all burnt up. The little shadow, and that's her being scared. The freaking priest! It's the priest! I know it is, dude. I know it is. Don't 
Don't jump scare me, please. Okay, go back. What? It's stuck. Why is the camera stuck there? Why is it stuck there? My camera, I can't, I can't move. Can't move. I can't even move the camera, I'm trying. So I had to load back in because my game basically froze and I wasn't able to move, so that was really cool. So this is where the roof crashed in. Oh man. Huh. Who are you? What? I gotta worry about a new girl now? Who the hell is that? It's a tire swing. Oh, okay. Stop. You're gonna jump scare me, I just know what- Stop, stop. Oh. Is that what I was meant to see at the other window and it just never showed up? I don't know, but you know what? It's fine. Who even cares? Modern Guide's successful parenting. Yeah, that worked out. Parents unhappy with their own upbringing can overcompensate. They might not want their children to feel the same as they do about their own parents. They yearn to be friends with their offspring. So many parents accept theories that encourage love as a solution to conflict. This leads to belief that if their child, their children misbehave, they should not be angry or punish them. Instead, indulge in ever greater displays of love. Spoiling a child in this way has grave consequences. Children become demanding and disagreeable. Parents suppressing, suppress anger at their child's behavior but cannot keep a lid on their frustration until they explode. Frightening and confusing the children. Okay. Yep. Very true. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Hi. Wait, 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 wait. Pick it up. James and Anne. You're gonna want to see this. Angela and I were married. This makes less and less sense. <laughs> Why would I ever marry him? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, girl. Wish I knew. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know, trust me. I know they're all coming after us. Oh God. Key. Grab the key. I don't know what it belongs to, but grab the key. Do we not want the key? Or is it just to the clock? I don't know. Okay. <sighs> Letter from Reverend Carson. Okay, dear Anne, thank you for your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concerns and assure you that your daughter's rebellious behavior is not unusual. I've helped parents with similar issues and would be happy to help with Megan's moral guidance. Huh. Hebrews 12, 11 says that all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields peaceful fruits of righteousness. Please see me after the service on Sunday so we can arrange time for some personal instruction. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Okay, I already looked at that. What else am I missing? Okay, I don't know. Let's go upstairs, though. Can't well, tell if she's crying or laughing. I don't know. Mary, please, I've really tried to give you the benefit of the doubt here. She's crying. 
trying. She's in here. What the hell? Stay here. Come on. Do you remember? Ah! Oh. Stop it! Okay, my camera's about to die, so I. Was about to confess all to the judge. No way. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. Look at all the weird, we faceless are to people. If we rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? <laughs> the evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. Bruh. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This dude's this pinning it on her. This mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. I feel like, But it has maybe. always belonged to Mary, and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now this tainted child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. This is crazy. These people have lost their freaking minds. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I don't this see child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. No question there is something very wrong here. Right in the heart of this place. There can be no doubt that little hope is afflicted. That darkness is taken Tell hold him what of to our do. town. Okay. There is not a man or woman here today who does not already know the devil is in our midst. The sole purpose of this court is to remove evil, not indulge it further. No. Our time is not for wasting. Sorry. You got this all twisted. Mary isn't to blame. How do I make my decision? So I didn't... Wrong, condemn an innocent to die. No. The only way I can see out of this is to get rid of that damn doll. Destroy that and the puppet must be cast asunder. Maybe this all goes away. It is the cause of Mary's affliction. It holds her in its thrall. Destroy this puppet and the devil will depart Mary. She will be restored, an innocent child. Reverend, burn the puppet. Destroy it. We must not act in haste. The girl must face the full consequences of My her deeds. My authority is not for questioning. Do as I ask. I don't know. did everything you could. Don't blame yourself. None of this is your fault. It's all coming full circle. Oh, man. That's it, right? Should have blamed the priest. I figured that if the doll... And then that would be the end of it. You made the right call. No way you could have seen what was going to happen. That accident is not on you. Whatever questions we still got, they won't be answered now. Let's just get out of here. You okay? What just happened? I think we've seen the last of that kid. I don't know. You sure about that? Whoa. Are you okay? What? Why is she crying? I'm so confused. 
so confused. So confused. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hold on. Oh. Hey! I'm real sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. What did I say? What did I say? Yes! I've been through some real tough time these past years. Man. Oh. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. What about you, dude? Ain't nothing left here for you. Huh. I don't know. I. How fucking great does this feel? Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm so happy we all made it out of here. But? My ass is so getting fired tomorrow. <laughs> so? What's the deal now, T? I don't know, D. <laughs> but stick around. Let's see what happens. Aww. They're so cute. Is this really the end? I don't know, I'm scared. Is something else in that diner? I want to hear from Mary. I'm real sorry for what I've put you all through. That's gonna haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. We've all been through hell. Yeah, right? We're finally getting out of this hell. Oh, you <laughs> no way! No way! No way! I just wish we all could have made it. Oh. I was right! Oh my god! No way! We're diverting all traffic through little. No way! You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. What did I say at the beginning, dude? I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. My mind is blown right now. I did not think I was right. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> That's why he laughed. Yeah, that's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. Need to keep a clear head. Oh my god. Oh my god. So that's why he was so pissed. You, you take a goddamn shot at me? Quit hiding in there! Hey, cool it. I was, I was trying to help. Didn't you see that thing? What are you talking about? Ain't nothing out here. Dude. Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. 
God. Oh my God. Holy crap. Wow, okay. That's it. Game over. <laughs> You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. <laughs> Thanks. Congratulations. Your single charge found a way through the guilt, the horror, and came away whole. And you eventually found him, the bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. Oh, man. <sighs> I'm speechless right now. Till we meet again, maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian <laughs> Desert, or somewhere else. Is that a reference to the other ones? But we will meet again. At least one more time. I hope so, dude. You've been a lot of fun. You've been a whole lot of fun, dude. Oh my god. Dude, what a game! Wow. So the whole time, we weren't even with anyone else. Andrew was a bus driver? I cannot believe I called that. I said that on a whim. I was like, okay, so Vince it might be the guy from before. Does that mean, you know, Andrew might be him? I didn't think I would be right, though. Trust me. Believe me. Wow. I really, really, really enjoyed that game. I had such a good time. I had such a good time. I really didn't know how I would like it because this is my first game by these developers, but I thought it was fantastic. I, I wish more people would talk about this game because I know a lot of people played it when it first came out, but I didn't see nearly as much hype for this one as I had seen for the other ones. And I feel like that's a shame because I thought this was really, really good. I thought all the ways that it tied together all the different timelines and stuff was really fun and that twist at the end still cannot believe i called that i think the vince thing was a little obvious with his uh with this the moon or the the sun charm whatever we saw in the flowers so he blamed anthony for the fire for the longest time because that that was his you know his girlfriend died in the fire but we know it wasn't him and I don't know if I got a really satisfying ending with Mary. She's the only one I'm confused about. I still think that she's innocent. Mostly innocent. Uh, I think a lot of it was the priest. And I, now I'm wondering what would have happened if I was outraged and like condemned the priest instead instead of blaming the town. I don't know if maybe that changed the whole ending that I got. Either way, for a first run, I think I did pretty damn good. I think I did pretty good. I... I didn't get anyone killed, which I really thought I would. I thought someone was gonna die. And I really thought it would be Angela first, and I really thought I did kill her for a while, but she's good, and... But they're not, though. You know, it's like, that was their... I think that was Andrew's way of... Or Anthony, I don't, I don't know at this point. His way of coming to... Coming to peace with, you know, being the one that killed them in the fire, essentially, but not really. I don't know. I don't know, I'm gonna have to like look into this a lot more and like research theories and stuff because I'm still a little confused, but at the same time, I don't know, I thought it was just really good. I thought it was really good. I had such a fun time. I find it really crazy that I was able to like, some things I said like really foreshadowed some things. Like at the beginning, I was like, is there even anyone on the bus? Like we didn't even see anyone on the bus, you know, when we first drove into uh, Little Hope. And so when they crashed, I was like, wow, I didn't even think anyone was on there. I thought he was crazy. Lo and behold, there wasn't. It was just him. 
the whole time stuff wasn't chasing us it wasn't following us it was just it was just his his past was haunting him essentially what he did to them and how they died came back to haunt him but everything was just really interesting and i really like the curator too <laughs> okay I'm... you believe in god well absolutely not i don't know what this is we'll start believing whoa that looks crazy oh this is the girl that we saw in the picture i don't know what you want to so is this a different game try. I don't believe in how it's there. In Sumerian myth, they say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the house of ashes, where they lived on dust and plague. This is the other game. By the demons of the underworld. Ah, <laughs> oh boy. So, Little Hope was the first one, then, right? Or was it Man of Medan? Or Madan? I don't know how to say that one. Um, but I've seen that. I've seen, like, I saw, like, the first hour of that game or so. So it wouldn't, if I played that one, it wouldn't be a complete blind playthrough. Um, but I, I haven't seen how that ended and I haven't really seen much of it. So I could play that one or I could play House of Ashes. Whatever you guys want, let me know. I'm not going to play it this time around. I had such a good time with this game. I cannot say it enough. I really wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did, especially when I started. I wasn't sure I was kind of on the fence, but the more I played, the more I was invested and I ended up really loving it. So I'm really happy I played this. Um, I'd love to discuss some theories with you guys in the comments. For now, I'm just a little confused and I think I want to do my own research and, and find what exactly happened. I'm not going to do other outcomes, at least not right now, because I... <laughs> I have a lot of other things to record and I sadly I just don't have enough time but like I said I'd love to discuss this with you guys in the comments um, and hear what you guys think and if you you know if you think I didn't get the best outcome let me know and I'll look into it but let me know what you guys think of Mary what you think of the priest I personally think the priest was the problem here I think he was the one instructing everything but I could be wrong still I I don't know it wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be and I think that really helped me get through it um, there were a few jump scares here and there, but nothing nothing too bad. Um, sometimes they got pretty predictable, so it really wasn't too bad. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed, leave a like or subscribe if you're new, because I'd love to have you stick around and watch the face video games and hang out with me. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.